So we're looking at the top 20 most valuable Christmas ornaments selling right now. Age itself as well has nothing to do with the value of your Christmas ornaments. Hey, it's Don. Today we're looking at the top 20 most valuable Christmas ornaments selling right now. There is an incredible amount of value in vintage Christmas ornaments as well as newer Christmas ornaments. You just have to know which ones to look for to get the big bucks. <laughs> So one of the most expensive types of Christmas ornaments across the board for the last several decades has been Dresden paper made Christmas ornaments. Now Dresden is actually a city in Germany and the Dresden area was known as the capital for fancy and fine quality paper and cardboard items of all types for years and years and years. Now many of these as well were sold as candy containers. There would have been candy in the bottom of them and then when you were finished with the candy you could have used it as a Christmas ornament. This is an eagle, spread winged eagle here and this one easily sold for almost $4,000. This is completely made out of paper. It's been gilt or silver finished at the end of the day. Here's yet another one. Now, interesting, unique designs are very popular. Now, this one's pretty interesting. It's a 1903 Winton car. It's an automobile from the turn of the century. Now, you need to also take into account what it's made out of as to the condition of these. It's made out of paper and cardboard, as I said. So many times these could be damaged or have multiple issues. You can see this one has some splitting and some other issues with it again because it's well over 100 years old and it's just paper, cardboard items that have been silver finished. This is a very unique one, $3,700 plus for this one as well. Here's yet another one. This is a very unique steamship here, very well detailed. And once again, this is nothing more than cardboard and it sold for $3,000. Now this is a very spectacular one here. This is a double-sided one, meaning that it's not just the facing, the backside is as detailed as the front. In some cases, these may only be one-sided pieces. This one easily went for $2,600. Here's yet another fine example. Even damaged as this one is here, the handlebars have issues, there's some splitting in the whole works, they will still sell for a ton of money. These aren't very big either. They're small, just like a modern day Christmas ornament. This is only three and a half inches across and it went for $1,881. Animals of all sorts as well are highly sought after. This is a very unique one. And once again, this is a candy container. There's only a facing on it. So the back side, you can see the actual label of the bonbons that were in this container here. This one easily sold for over $1,600. It's an excellent condition considering the age of this item here. Here's another one, and this one is truly outstanding. The color schemes are just fabulous on this. One thing you will notice on many of these early Dresden ones is that the coloring schemes were meant to look like metallic paint. $1,100 plus dollars for this one. Now here's another style here. This is spun cotton batting. They still make these sorts of figures today. This is really a spectacular one. There are some cloth add-ons to say the pants on here, but this is typically what you will see on these cotton spun batting ornaments here. This one's from Germany as well. Over $1,500 for this spectacularly rare example. Now another brand of Christmas ornaments to always look for is Kugel, which is a German brand. They've made them for decades and decades and decades. The earliest ones can sell for the most, and this is a fine example of an early one here. It is a pine cone in blue. Now it's made out of glass. They're extremely heavy. There are tons of varieties and versions of Kugel Christmas ornaments. Even ones from the 60s and 70s can still sell for hundreds of dollars. Most of the time they have the same type of hanging mount as you see on this one here. This one easily sold for over $2,700 with multiple bids. This is Kaiser Wilhelm, I do believe, on the face of this one. It is made to look like a military projectile. 
you see the German eagle on the top, the Imperial German eagle. It has the typical mounts to be hung on this one also. It's really a spectacular one here. It's an interesting example. Obviously can be tied to the German production. Went for 879 bucks with multiple bids. Here's yet another one. Now, anthropomorphic items were extremely hot in the Victorian era all the way up into the 1910, 15, and 20 era. This is made to look like a pear. It's a face on a pear. Anthropomorphic is basically something that isn't human, taking human characteristics, basically. Even the hanger itself could be worth $40 or $50, depending on the style, the construction, and if it is marked. Easily sold for over $1,100 with multiple bids. Here's yet another one. This is an oddball one. It's, again, anthropomorphic. Now, one thing to worry about with these sorts of Christmas ornaments, they've reproduced these. You can still find them coming from Europe that are made to look nearly identical. Radco even makes some similar ones, too. So you have to be very careful to make sure that it's not a reproduction if you're going to be shelling out a ton of money for these sorts of things. This one sold for over $1,400 with multiple bids. Here's yet another anthropomorphic Christmas ornament. This is a peanut with a face on it. It also has chenille arms and legs on it. This is super fragile, so finding one in any condition is extremely rare, but one in this nice of a condition is extremely scarce. And again, that's why it sells for so much money. Now, just like modern day times, you can find character related ornaments. This is a Palmer Cox brownie, and it is a character from a comic strip from the 1880s, 90s, and beyond. It has where it's lost most of the color. That's not the key factor in it. The key factor is that it's a brownie by Palmer Cox. This is about five inches tall. It's a decent sized one, so for that sort of thing to survive in any condition without broken pieces or glass damage is extremely scarce. And that's why this one sold for a thousand bucks. Now here's Santa Claus, Father Christmas. Santa Claus these days is one of the most sought after figures that people want, but it's not the rarest. That's why this one sold for less than most of the ones we've shown you so far. Just over a thousand bucks. This one is though in excellent condition. This one also has something unique going for it. The eyes in here are separate pieces. They've been added in just like a doll's glass eye would be. You will also see mica on some of these, which is what it looks like for the fur around, the white fur around his actual hat here. And that's ground up stone. Mica is a stone or mineral. Now, it doesn't have to be old to be worth a lot of money. This one usually surprises most people that this one can sell for a thousand, even two thousand dollars. This is a John Deere Christmas ornament. This, I do believe, is the first series that they put out. This is from 1996, but it's extremely scarce. So don't think that because it's new that it's not going to carry any real value. Now this Swarovski Christmas ornament here is from 1991. This is extremely sought after, especially if it has the box and the certificate with this. This one sold for over $2,000. Now there's a whole set of these. These still show up. Even without the box, these can sell for hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. It doesn't look like much. It's easily confused with something else. It is dated on there. It does have a signature on it as well. Now, I mentioned Radco earlier. Radco makes a ton of very expensive Christmas ornaments still to this day. It's a company that's been around for a very long time. They make them these days in limited quantity for very specific topics and types of things. Now, in some cases, these came in specific boxes just for the ornament itself. In other cases, they may have just been a standard stock Radco box and wrapping for it. This one sold for almost $2,000 with multiple bids. Now, here's yet another grouping from Radco. This is a set, a series, that was limited in production. This is from the movie White Christmas with Bing Crosby. This one came in a specific box with White Christmas on it. It's really a nice example here. They all still have the tags on them. You could run into these individually, and they will still sell for several hundred dollars. Now, here's a really nice one also. Now, this one's made by T. Tiffany, and it is sterling silver. Now, this is one of those that could be missed. You may not even realize it's Tiffany. These will tarnish, so they will turn black and dark and dingy, and you may assume it's just junk. 
It's newer. It's from 1993. Tiffany made quite a few different Christmas ornaments. You may even have one in your house right now in your Christmas ornament box or your decorations up in the attic or in the basement or in a garage somewhere. These are extremely rare. They were made in limited quantity. They were extremely expensive when they were issued as well. That's why they still can sell for $1,000, $1,200, $1,500, even $2,000 for some Tiffany Christmas ornaments. Now, a whole nother area of Christmas ornaments are blow mold Christmas ornaments. This one's by Becco. It's a company that made most all of these giant Christmas tree ornaments. These are made to hang in, say, a town square or from light poles to decorate a town. Not a lot of them survived. They were hung out in the elements, so water and snow and damage would happen to them. This one's in excellent condition. Some cities left them hang through storms and the whole works, so not many of these survived. So whenever these show up, they can sell for hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. Howdy, Merry Christmas. By now you know I'm the star of this Yuletide show, but only for one day, you see. The rest of the year is yours to be. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. <laughs>